Hi, hey, welcome back to the course. So in the last video, we wrapped up our module one discussion. So we talked about the federal rules of evidence. We talked about different laws and standards that are pertinent to uh, forensic investigators, as well as the Fourth Amendment. So in this video, we're going to start off our lab. So we're going to have three parts to this lab in module one. Uh, basically, we're going to be analyzing photos. So part one is going to just be installing the tools that we need for the lab. Part two will be actually uh, modifying one of the photos that we uh, retrieve. And then part three is going to be us actually looking at the photos. Now, keep in mind that since we're the ones setting up the lab, we're obviously going to know the answers when we go into part three. Um, however, this is a good lab to kind of walk through um, once you get it set up to actually show a couple photos to like your friends or family and have them try to figure out what the differences are and kind of impress them a little bit. So I want to give you kind of a quick lab that you can run um, pretty much from anywhere um, on Microsoft Windows or any operating system that you're using to kind of, you know, impress again your friends and family. So for this lab, I'm going to be using a, a Windows 10 virtual machine. Um, I recommend you do use a virtual machine. However, um, if you try to do this inside of the uh, the uh, cyber lab environment, you might have some trouble because there are limitations on um, opening photos. So um, you may want to open this in your own virtual lab, or if you are running like Microsoft Windows, uh, you can you can download these tools and run them in there as well. Again, virtual machine is the recommended route. Um, if you're running like Mac or Linux, then just find a hash calculator and then find also a hex editor tool that will be uh, relevant to your operating system. And that's all you actually need for this lab, aside from just doing a quick Google search on you know images and finding an image that you want to use uh, so again the tools for the lab we're running it inside of Microsoft Windows so we're going to use hash calc and HXD editor but if you're using a different operating system just go ahead and find a relevant tool that will work with your particular operating system we're not going to cover the other operating systems in this particular lab so here in part one, again, we're just going to install the tools. So I've got my uh, virtual machine launched here. And then we're just going to open a web browser. So where, whatever you choose to use, just go ahead and open a web browser and then search for hash calc. So that's the first tool we want to get. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I have a, a Google pulled up here. So I'm just going to type in hash calc. So just like that and press enter. Uh, you'll see here I already um, went to the website, so it pulls up for me. But it's going to be this slavasoft.com forward slash hash calc. If we go back to our lab document, you'll see here that I have the link for you there. So you could also just click that link and launch the um, website. The next thing we want to do once we open up the website is go to the downloads page. It's going to be at the top. And then we're going to look for the section that says free software downloads here in step six. So let's go ahead and do that now. So just launch the website. Might take a moment or so to pull up. Once it does, click Downloads. It's kind of near the top in the center. And then here, we're going to look for the free software download. So that second um, set of options down the page. All right, once we find that, we're going to select this Download button that's to the right of the hash calc. So right now, it's showing us the, version, the latest version is 2.02. Um, if that updates, then, you know, we, of course, we could click the most updated version. So let's go ahead and do that now. So if we click on download, it's going to download the zip file for us. We'll let that go ahead. It might take a moment or so. Let's go back to our lab document. So here in step seven, we click the download link. As I mentioned, it's going to download the zip file for HashCalc in step eight. And then once it downloads it completely, we're going to click the little arrow. Um, depending on your browser, I'm using Google Chrome. So I'm going to click the little arrow and then select the show and folder option. All right, so you'll see that mine has downloaded. I'm going to click this little arrow here and then just show it in folder. Let's go back to our lab document. So next step here, step 10, we're going to right click on that file and then extract a file. So let's go ahead and do that now. So just right click wherever you uh, downloaded it to. It should be in most cases your downloads folder unless you have a different configuration in your machine. And then just right click on that file and then just say extract files. Might take a moment or so, and it should pull up and ask me where I want to uh, go with it. Um, you see here by default, it takes me to my downloads folder. I'm just going to say OK to that because that's where I want it to go. All right, so once it finally extracts, um, which might take a moment or so here, in step 11, we should see the folder there. And then we're going to, uh, step 12, just double click on the folder to open it up. So again, that's the extracted folder. Once we open it here in step 13, we will see a setup.exe file. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
All right, so we see the hash calc um, folder here. We're just gonna go, and then right there is that setup exe file I mentioned. I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on that. Let's go back to our lab document. Now we are probably gonna get a user account control pop-up if you're using Microsoft Windows. Um, if you get that prompt, just select yes to that, and then it's gonna launch the wizard for us. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you'll see here it launches it. Um, it's given us this, uh, mostly because it doesn't recognize who the publisher is because there's no uh, security, excuse me, security certificate. Um, so we're just going to say yes to that. We assume that they're not hacking us. And you'll see here it launches a wizard for us. So in the wizard, you're basically just going to uh, next, next all the way through. You're also going to accept the license agreement. And then um, finally, you'll get to a button that says install on and you'll go ahead and install the tool. So you're going to say, uh, just could say next there, then accept the license agreement. And then it's, uh, whatever the defaults are, just leave them alone. Say next, next all the way through. Um, we want it to create a desktop icon, and so it does it by default. We're just going to leave that alone and say next. And then you'll see here with the, uh, we have the uh, installation option. You'll see here, if you look on the left side of my screen, um, I already had it installed, but we can go ahead and install it again. Now, um, I already have HXD as well, the next tool that we're gonna install. Um, so you'll see um, when we go to install that one, I'll get a little pop-up message, um, but you'll be able to just go through and install it on your machine. So let's go back to our lab document here with the HashCalc wizard, and let's see where we are. So we just did uh, step 18, we left all the default settings, we accepted that license agreement, and then we clicked install. Our next step here in step 19 is just unchecking the view, the readme file, as well as the launching the hash calc checkboxes. So we're gonna uncheck both these boxes and then just say finish. Um, mostly because we don't wanna launch the tool quite yet. All right, let's go back to our lab document. So now we're gonna go to our uh, web browser and we're gonna search for HXD hex editor. So let's go ahead and do that now. So just, just go ahead and close out that um, downloads page. Just go back to a Google uh, search page or whatever browser you want to use, or excuse me, whatever uh, search engine you want to use, and then just search for uh, HXD hex editor, and then press enter on your keyboard there. Um, you'll see here, it should be like the first or second option. You'll see it's going to be this mh-nexus.de uh, forward slash English, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so once we find that, just go ahead and click on the page to open it. Might take a moment or so to pull up. Let's go back to our lab document. Um, you could have also just went to this URL if you wanted to. That's the same one we're at right now. Uh, but if you want to search for it like I did, you can certainly do so. Our next step here is step 22. So once we pull up the website, we want to scroll down the page until we come to the latest version release for Windows um, or whatever your operating system is if, if this tool works for that or if you're using a different tool. Um, you'll have to follow the steps for that tool and not these ones. All right, so um, uh, at the timing of this video, and I think it's still the 2.1 version, but we'll see here in a second. Um, once we select that latest version, we're just gonna select the download page link, and that's gonna take us to where we can actually download the tool. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're just gonna scroll down the page until we see the latest version. You'll see here it is the 2.1. So click on this download page, little uh, blue link here. It's gonna take us to the download page. So let's go back to our lab document. So now we want to click on step 24. We want to select the download per HTTPS, uh, the link for English there. Um, unless you want to use a different language, that's fine, but um, we're going to do the one for English. So you'll see it's this one right here. We just select this blue link on the right side here that says download per HTTPS. Now you're also going to notice that they give us the hash of this download file. So we could check that uh, if we wanted to and just make sure that hash is correct. So let's just click on the download per HTTPS link. You'll see it's gonna start downloading that zip file for us. So let's go back to our lab document. So you'll see here in step 25, we, uh, the zip file is downloading for us. And then uh, in step 26, we're gonna, um, on the desktop, double click the hash calc um, to open up the application. So basically we're gonna hash the uh, zip file that we're downloading, the HXD one, and then basically just compare that to what the website is showing us. So just so we can take a quick look and see what that looks like. All right, so you'll see that the uh, the zip file is downloaded, so we're gonna leave that alone for right now. So on your desktop, you should have that hash calc uh, shortcut. Go ahead and double click on that. It's gonna open it up for us. We're gonna uh, select, uh, we have here the 
All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, click the three little dots here in step 28 at the top right of the HashCalc tool screen. And that way we can search for the file, which is going to be that uh, zip file we just downloaded for the HXD hex editor. So let's go ahead and do that now. So just go ahead and click these three little dots near the top right. You'll see here it uh, gives us some different options. We're going to navigate to the downloads folder. Um, at least that's where I have mine at. I'll navigate to the downloads folder um, and then I can go ahead and actually find my file. So just navigate to wherever you downloaded the HXD file. We're just going to click on that zip file and just say open. And then just click the calculate button at the bottom. You'll see it generates a hash for us. Um, if we just glance here at the hash, the first part of it, you'll see here that that matches with our hash right here. Um, so it looks like this is a legitimate file. All right, let's go back to our lab document here. So we see here that, um, yes, the hashes do match. So we just compared them, and yes, they appear to match. All right, then we can move on to our next step in the lab. So now we're just going to close the HashCalc application. So just go ahead and just X out of that. And let's go back to our lab document. All right, so now uh, we just want to open the downloads folder um, where we have the HXD setup file. And so what we're going to do is right click and extract the files. Um, I'm going to uh, extract them to the desktop screen. You can, uh, de uh, inst uh, excuse me, extract them anywhere you want to, uh, but I'm going to extract them to the desktop. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I just want to navigate to the downloads folder. So I'm just going to double click on one of my uh, folders I have open here. Click on uh, downloads. And then I find my HXD setup.zip. I'm going to right click. I'm going to extract the files, and then I'm going to navigate um, to a different location here. So I actually want to throw these on the desktop, so I'm just going to click there on my desktop and just say OK. Now your process might be slightly different if you don't have um, WinRAR installed, if you're just using um, kind of that uh, right-click and extract of Windows. Um, however, you can still extract it anywhere you want to. All right, so you'll see that we have now I have the HXD setup executable on my desktop there. So let's go ahead and back to our lab document. So we've gone ahead and extracted the files. Um, the next thing we want to do, we want to go ahead and double click on that executable to launch the installer. If we get the user account control pop up, which we should, we're just going to say yes to that. Um, we're going to choose English for the language and then just say OK. And then basically at that point, it's just a next, next all the way through to accept the license agreement as well. And then it's next, next, next all the way through. Um, and then the only other thing, the only other change we do is we select desktop shortcut to add a desktop shortcut for it. And then we just click the installation button. So a lot of steps there, but basically just remember in your head that next, next, next all the way through um, until you get to the end and then install it. All right, we're going to double click on that file now. So double click on that HXD setup.exe. Might take a moment or so to launch for us. Um, again, what you're going to see here is a user account control pop up from Windows. We're just going to say yes to that, and it's going to launch the actual installer for us. You'll see here it gives us a prompt, and that's where we say OK to the English. We want to keep that. And then here we just have our next options, right? So we just next all the way through. We accept the license agreement. Next, next, next. Next, and then here's where we want to select to create a desktop shortcut. We're going to say next one more time and then install. Now, I should get an error message since I've already got it installed, um, but yours will actually go ahead and install the tool at that time. All right, so apparently I don't. It's going to let me install it twice, which is kind of rare, um, but I will take it if it works. All right. Okay, let's go back to our lab document here. So our very last step in this uh, part of the lab is just unchecking the two boxes there, so to launch it, um, and then also to launch the uh, readme.txt file. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and uncheck those boxes, and then just say finish here. So that wraps up part one of our lab. Again, in part two, we're going to go ahead and get our photos set up to move on to then part three of the lab.